Tom, thank you. Now only on 7 News, a Maryland Fire Department is facing serious accusations of failing to properly respond to emergencies. 7 News' Brad Bell joining us live now in Charles County. And Brad, you met with several people now blowing the whistle on these issues. Yeah, and look, we should also tell you the fire department is calling itself out as well because of this report. This is an internal report prepared after a fire. It was not meant for public consumption. I've seen these over the years. Sometimes they say, oh, they should have grabbed a different hydrant or something like that. But in this case, the allegations are that firefighters were lazy, that their leadership didn't follow protocols, that they were reckless, and that people will get hurt. It was a fire in an attic spreading down into the second floor of an elderly man's home on Needlefish Court in Waldorf. Volunteer firefighters managed to get things under control without injuries, but according to an internal after-action report obtained by 7 News, it was a, quote, poorly run fire ground, and the incident commander admitted he had no idea what was going on and, quote, what needed to be done. The leaked report lifting the veil on allegations of serious widespread problems in the Charles County Volunteer Fire Association. A lot of calls, they, they became a disaster within like the first couple minutes of the incident. Napoleon Epps, Kiara Harvey, Aubrey Anderson, and Teron Griffin are all former Charles County Volunteer Firefighters. Each has a discrimination complaint filed against the Volunteer Association. They say a lack of oversight has created a dangerous and toxic situation. With racism, discrimination, and just, it's a consistent issue and no one being held accountable. For the community to know this is very important because, you know, their life is what's in jeopardy, you know, and ours. And if, if we're conducting ourselves like this as a department and a county, you know, I'm just afraid for the future. The Needlefish Court Fire Report concludes with this scathing appraisal of the Charles County Volunteer Fire Association. Quote, many of the departments do not and will not change their horrible and careless tactics. It says they, quote, continue to operate in a careless manner, do not care about safety, and willfully disobey the right thing to do on a fire ground. This behavior, it says, needs to cease immediately or Charles County is going to seriously injure or kill firefighters. There's no accountability at all, nothing. In fact, elected officials and the county government have no control over operations in the all-volunteer fire departments, even though they are supported by tax dollars. But Bill Smith, spokesman for the volunteers, says there is accountability. I can promise you this, it will be thoroughly investigated. Uh, the chiefs at Waldorf will be, uh, be, be trained as they need. But if this is an internal report that finds serious fault with culture and behavior and practices within the organization. Can the community trust the organization to police itself? Absolutely. The, the citizens in this county have nothing to worry about with fire and EMS service in our county. Yeah, so certainly we're going to be staying on this and keeping up with how fire calls are handled in this community. Now, we should say those allegations of discrimination and bias, they are not a part of this report. Those firefighters are making them independently. I talked to the fire department spokesperson about that. He said he couldn't talk about specifics, but that he believes that their claims are unfounded. And he says that sort of behavior will not be tolerated within this organization. So a very troubling report, an awful lot of eyes on how the fire association is operating right now in Charles County. In Waldorf, Brad Bell, 7 News.